These are the plaintiffs, Renee Schneer and Michelle Morgan. Michelle says her mother, Renee's neighbor, the defendant, has a vicious dog who keeps getting loose, comes over to her mother's house and tries to get at her three dogs. The defendant's vicious dog ripped through two screens to her enclosed pool. The defendant refuses to fix the screens, and they're here in the name of justice, seeking the $160 they're owed. This is the defendant, Kimberly Michnowitz. She says the plaintiffs are terrible people who threatened they would drown her dog, and they told that to her young daughter. These people have traumatized her poor little girl for no good reason other than to be nasty. Bottom line, they claim her dog ripped some old moldy screens, which they were replacing anyway, and they're trying to hassle her into paying for it, which she simply refuses to do. She's accused of failing to contain her dog. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiffs say the defendant's vicious dog gets on their property and attacks their three dogs. But the defendant says the plaintiffs are monsters who are terrorizing their kid. It's the case of who let the dogs out? Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Renee Schneer and Michelle Morgan. Yes, you are suing Kimberly Mitch. But pronounce it for me. Mitch Nowitz. Mick Mitch Nowitz. Mm -hmm. For $160 for four pool screen panel replacements that you say were necessary because her dog got out and came in through those panels. Tell me what happened. My husband was out in the screened in pool area with our three little dogs. Her dog got loose, which it's always loose, and just tried to get at my dogs and viciously came through. Actually, it happened twice. The first time, it ripped two screens. How did it rip two screens the first time? trying to get into the pool area to the dogs with its claws. Were you present when that happened? I was present for the second time, which was the same day, but hours later. Okay, and what kind of dog is that that keeps getting loose? Some kind of pit bull mix. She says is it's it a, a cur bull? dog, but no, that's... A black mouth cur. It's a what? A black mouth cur. What does that mean? That's, it's the breed of dog. No, it means that when you don't want to say it's a pit bull, you say it's a cur dog. I know, but I've never heard that. I've heard a lot of people That's not why. want to say it's, it's a pit bull. No, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's it a is. poodle, but I'm That's just curious. That's the breed of dog it is. It's not a pit bull. So go on. So you're there for the second event. Okay, so that happens. My husband doesn't go over to their house because he's very upset. The dog almost bit him. Does the dog bite your dog or no? No, because my husband was able to intervene, but it almost bit him. And then her son comes running over and retrieves the dog. How old is the son? He's 12. Okay. Much too young, her and her young daughter who's younger, she keeps them in charge of the dogs. They can't control the big dog. I myself have taken her other dog, who's not as mean, and put it in their fenced in yard. Wait, how's the dog getting out of a fenced in yard? It jumps, they don't keep it in the fenced in yard because it jumps over the fence, apparently. How's, it, how, uh, how's the dog getting out? The, the dog she's talking about that ripped the screen is, has only gotten out a couple times. The other dog oh, gets out. A couple times is a lot of times. I mean, a, why we, transitioned, dog... we transitioned him from the outside to the inside because the dogs were disturbing her and her dog. So I already brought the dog inside. Okay. And the kids, just being kids, they open the door. We have a courtyard area, and sometimes the gate's not latched, and then the dog runs through. Okay, and how many times, according to you, has that happened? Then? It's, she's gotten out about three or four times. Three or four? Not according to me. There's reports from animal control that you have that they've been there at least six or eight times. Let me see your... That right. I That's didn't That's a different call. dog. Okay. Oh, well, oh, so I'm you have sorry, a, Oh, you have a recurrent problem, apparently. No, no. I, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, what's the problem? Why, why is animal control at your house six or eight times? Because my neighbor likes to call them. a long time. I haven't had animal I've control at my house. I've never called. Excuse me. For the Excuse screen. me. Do not talk to each other. I've never called uh, did animal you hear me? control. Did yes. you hear what I said? Do, I, no, no. Okay. I don't. This is not an invitation for you to say what you were trying to interrupt okay. with again. Do not talk directly to the lid again. Why is animal control at your house six or eight times? So, are dogs in the pit bull family? Uh, are they more aggressive than other dogs? I think so. All the stories that you hear about them are, are sound like they're more aggressive. Also, insurance companies charge more when you have a pit bull. That's an interesting point. What do you say? I think it depends on the owner and how they're treated. Okay. So now, who's going to break the tie here? Definitely pit bulls are scarier than any other kind of dog. You see it on this show all the time. 
Judge Millian says it's never a poodle that attacks everyone. <laughs> wow. Qu that's when a judge gets quoted like that, she's in the big time going inside the courtroom. Uh, animal control has come from my other dog. He's a he's a Weimaraner. That's the one she says that she put back in the fence. He, okay. He's just he's a very smart dog. If he can figure out a way well, to why do you something, build a better he will. fence. Because, you know, they do have them. Yeah. Uh, right. We don't leave them alone in the fence because we know what well, he'll do. Well, uh, see, but that's not working. Yeah. You keep saying, well, don't worry about it. This fence doesn't need to work. Apparently, the fence does need to work because the dogs keep getting out. Now, you were starting to say, did you say to her that she's the one calling animal control all the time? Animal control, code enforcement. She's Right. Is anybody else calling animal calls. control on you, too? No, he's not. The dog that gets out is not a vicious dog. How he's many times not. has that other dog gotten out? And why is that okay? Like, maybe Isn't, maybe people uh, don't want the other dog getting out either. It's not that it's okay. It's that he comes back home. He gets out, he escapes. We run Every back day? In. No, not every day. It's been a while. How many times a, a week does he escape, your other dog? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen. You do hear my it. question, though. I hear I'm, your question. I don't have... I don't, okay, it so how many times the time. in the last six months has that happened? Two or three. Oh, fewer than the than, than the purported pit bull that she. That was a, that was the only time that dog's ever gotten out, and it's a black mouth cur. Wait, it's... you told me that dog had gotten out three or four times when the, I. But that's it. That's the only okay. time. She's is it not... once? Is it the only time the dog got out, or did the dog get out? Th is it me? Or did the dog get out three or four times? What is your testimony? The dog's only gotten out a couple of times. So why did you just say not thirty seconds ago that that's the only time the dog got out? So why Mariner has gotten out more? How many times? What is the, 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 the thing she calls a pit bull, but you say isn't? How many times has that dog gotten out? Three or four times. OK, that's not this is the only time either of your dogs have gotten out. You have a problem. They keep getting out. OK, so you don't deny that your dog got out because you know the dog got out, right? The kids told you or whoever went to retrieve the dog told yes. you. All right, and um, she's suing you for $160 for the screens. What's your, let me hear you respond to that. When she came over, I had agreed to her that I could fix the screen. I told her, I have the stuff, I can fix it for you, not a problem. She said I had to do it by 8 a.m. the next morning or no deal. It sounds like you weren't denying that you're responsible for them. You just feel that she was unreasonable. She was unreasonable. When she very nicely came over to tell me, she told me that her husband was going to drown my dog in the pool and also told me that if they got over they, there again, she was going to kill them. That was after the second time. The after first the second... time, I was very nice about it. The, wait, your husband did what? What did your husband My do? husband is going to kill the dog if it comes down to him getting bit or my dog's getting killed. Right, but what did your husband tell them? My no, husband not, never said yeah, a word My nine-year-old daughter, Your Honor. What did your husband tell a nine-year-old? My husband never said a word. That he would hold daughter. her head underwater and drown her himself. How do you know? Your daughter told you? She was up all night crying, her yeah, eyes out. that doesn't out. sound like something a nine-year-old would make up. It's pretty no. sick. My husband, I said that that's what my husband said he was going to do. My she husband confirmed it, too. that? No, she confirmed it with me. She told me that that's what her husband told me. Oh, well, him. then I guess the nine-year-old's telling the truth when she says that's well, what the husband told the nine-year-old. she may have heard my husband saying that to me outside on the patio. She no, may have she heard that. she confirmed it with me. But he didn't Let say that to her. Let me just explain what her. isn't going to happen. Nobody's drowning the dog. He didn't. Nobody should. No, 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 I need you to listen. No, is it, the dog's still living there, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, control. And my husband isn't saying he's just going to drown the dog to drown it. Yeah, no, it your comes. husband's not going to drown the dog Period. Okay. Tell your daughter they are not drowning or killing a dog. You do not get to drown or kill a dog because it rips your screen. No, but it attacked. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. To but not really. Not really. Not really. No, really. Not re no, no, it not really. It actually was no, no. biting at him. No, not, not, not really. Okay, it's I more out there. of anger, particularly when you say that to a nine-year-old kid, no. and that's sick. Okay. Because I value kids more than I value dogs. But he didn't Stop. say Is there it an to off her. button on you? Is there an off button on you? I strongly suggest you press okay. it right now. What she wants is the money for the screen. If that's how she behaved or her husband behaved towards your child, they're abominable human beings and terrible neighbors. However, why would she not be entitled to have you pay for the screen? She is entitled to have it done by a company. I agree. I offered to pay a portion of it because they were already getting some of the screens replaced. All right. And when you agreed to pay for a portion of it, what portion did you agree to pay for? We didn't come to uh, I, I would have agreed to half, but we didn't come to an yeah, agreement. Yeah, half's not good enough. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in this case based on what I've heard. I don't think that you should have to pay for half. I think you should have to pay for all. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of the $160 plus, of course, your court costs. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. 
So the plaintiff gets the $160, but there's no evidence that this couldn't happen again. Ms. Mixnowitz, if you'll step over here. Let me ask, number one, obviously this is a situation that could happen again, it seems to me. I think everybody listening here would, would say, hey, you know, it could happen again. What, what happens then? We'll see. I mean, are you taking every effort you can to make sure it won't happen again? Oh, absolutely. Do you think? Okay, all right. Well, good luck to you. I mean, you've got a neighbor who's ready know. to bring you to court at the drop vicious. of a hat. She's worse than the dogs. No, okay, well, all right. <laughs> Some people may believe that. All right, thank you very much. Here come the plaintiffs now. Hi there. You know, I got to tell you something. You were the winner, but you came off kind of like a mean neighbor, you know? <laughs> well, I was very nice to her the first time I went over there. Very nice. Yeah, but I mean, I you're, told her you're, she could pay partial. I know you I said that, but your husband said, threatening to drown a dog, my kill the dog? My never said that to her child. Her child overheard my husband very upset over the dog coming the second time. Yeah. And said, I'm going to drown that dog. Well, hope it doesn't happen again. Okay? Sure Thank you very will. much. <laughs> hope you can live at peace with your neighbor. Yes, I do. Sounds too. like Thank you me. got a real challenge there. Harvey? You know, Doug, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Somebody can have really bad behavior, super bad, disgusting behavior. If somebody owes that person money, bad behavior does not excuse a debt. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.